Check, check, yo. It's another episode of the Slide Through Podcast. I am your host with the least, Miggy. I'm here with, with some really least, good, Miggy. handsome fellas. Yo. Hey, okay. We got the background noise, you know? <laughs> we got the background we, noise. We also got the audience up in here. Don't yeah, forget about the audience. Yeah, yeah. There's a live give, audience. Give us, some, give us a clap. Give us a clap. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. We got yeah. fans. We got fans. Yeah. Sold out show, you know. <laughs> Sold out limited show. tickets are only available. For real. I'm mean, sorry, sorry, can't get to it. If you know, VIP. you know. If you know, you it's know. Only VIP. It's only VIP. Shit. Only. <laughs> only VIP only. VIP only, but no meet and greet. You know. No meet and greet. COVID, give me six feet. COVID, bro. COVID, COVID. Omicron. How's yeah. everybody doing? We chilling, man. Big yes, time sir. chilling. It's deep in December. Uh, you know what I mean? We're in that Christmas we week. Yeah, it we is are. Christmas week. So quick. Yeah. Does it feel like Christmas to y'all, huh? to be honest? Yeah. Absolutely not. I feel like there's not even any decorations up. My whole block is black. Ain't nobody like... my whole. Like, I, mean, I mean, don't be racist, no. bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not a little... No, like my whole block, like at night, it's pitch black. Like there's no fancy lights. There's like nothing. No one decorated and shit. I mean, do you got lights up? Yeah. Look at them. No. You got lights on you. He's yeah, bro, you're the only one that's uh, shining. He be flashing the whole block. He's walking around this block. Yeah, all right. He's like, I got the sidewalk. Don't worry. I got the block. in this block. Every 30 minutes, I just stand outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got you. I got you. Uh, I want everybody to be honest. Who's done their Christmas shopping? I just did it today. Lightweight, just, kinda, just how, did it. how was the malls? Was it crazy? Was no, I mean, I, I went on Amazon, to be oh, honest. okay, okay. <laughs> I was going to go to the mall, but I figured they'd be crazy. I'm not one hey, to be man. shopping. I'm more like, okay, let me go in and out. Mm -hmm. But the lines be crazy, dude. I yeah. feel you, man. I feel you. And like, it take me five yeah. minutes to pick out what I need, and then I got to stand in line for, like, 45 minutes. Like, Yeah, bro. I left things before. Like, man, fuck that shit. Man. I don't really, I don't need it that bad. I'm right. about to just dip. And right now, it's the season of uh, fighting over shit, too, you know? About to see some parents, you know what I mean, throw down over a fucking little toy fire truck or whatnot. Like, no, my son wanted this. Uh, I'm going to give it to him. Like, no, I already promised my son. And you know what I mean? I wish my, my daughter parents. wants the baby Yoda. Like, like, I wish no. My parents did that shit. Those are the yeah, same fi ones fighting for custody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they need that custody. shit. Yeah. They need that shit for court. Like, no, see, man, I buy, I buy shit for my kid. <laughs> I get him what he wants. They need that shit. Yeah. Yeah, so no, Eric. Nah, does it feel what? like Christmas? Does it feel like Christmas? Well, yeah, sort of, kind of. I don't know. My parents yeah, I mean, are gone. So they're like, gone. Oh, they went to El Salvador. Yeah, they're they're at they're motherland. You feel me? So you so, got the whole house. You get to walk around naked and shit. No, nah, my brother's still home. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh fuck uh, it though. It's your you get to walk around. <laughs> Y'all get to walk next to <laughs> each other, slap each other's asses. It's like the you, food. You want to wrestle? Yeah. You want to wrestle? <laughs> <laughs> good game. Good game. <laughs> good. G G G G. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's the food. Like you know, it's uh, it starts with the food. You know, with you can come over my house. Come on, twin. It's not the same, bro. The tamales well, are not I'll the same. I'll make you some torta ahogadas. It's like those ones your mom gave us like a few years back. It's not the same. We had the platano in it. That's for breakfast, out. right? You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Just gotta add platano but, there. Uh, you just gotta add platano on everything. <laughs> no, I got the choco, gonna, we, the choco we, banana. You know, we got some things, cool. and, you know, that we ordered that's coming through, and then we got aunties that are making the the rest of the food and stuff. So that's okay. all good. That's set. Yeah. How about for I you, mean. man? How's Christmas? Does it feel like Christmas? We, we got for me. Yeah. You know, it's uh, so Justin. He just left this morning. He just flew back to Alabama for two weeks. So I, I'm out here just hanging by myself, just chilling. And it's that's usually kind of the way it is on the holidays because he's with me for the whole year. Mm. You know, they, so he'll go back to his mom's for the breaks. Okay. Yeah. And then either, you know, my parents might come out here, or I might go somewhere, or I might just relax here. You know, I mean. You know, I'm busy with a store now and uh, a couple of restaurants, so it's busy anyway, so. Okay. Has it always been like that? He's always just gone for, like, you pretty much, you've just spent, like, the holidays yeah, kind of by much, yourself? Yeah, pretty much. Anything longer than, like, a four-day break, he'll fly back and see his mom. Mm, you know, okay. it's, it's, it's hard enough being in a split family to begin with, but right. then when your mom's across the country mm -hmm. it's not driving just a couple hours to do an exchange it's no. like going through a whole hassle flying from fly. san francisco to atlanta then you change the planes in atlanta you know so it's it's a whole person you know i mean it's a it's day a of process. traveling there and a day of traveling back and it's you know it's not easy for him so it's uh yeah. you know for me it's um you know i've, I've always kind of lived on the road you know so you, holidays weren't always Big. I wasn't always a big holiday guy. I'm not either, bro. I hate it. If I'm you know, nice. so I mean, it's 
Uh, he's the Grinch. Give me those lights. Yeah, right? <laughs> give hey, me those lights. You know lights. what, man? The Grinch was bullied, so salute to the Grinch. I, I would do the same shit. I was bullied. I bullied him. Yeah, you yeah. He said I, I bullied him. I titty twist his ass like every day. Titty twist his ass. Oh, y'all crazy. Because you ain't know Ronnie had a nipple in his ass. Y'all didn't know that, huh? Bro, those are just the moles, bro. You heard it here first. <laughs> How about for you, Miggy? How, does it feel like Christmas for you? Uh, yeah, man, it's, it's getting cold. It's getting yeah, cold. That's what it cold. is. Cold, bro. Is that what it means? It's, it's, cold. it's always cold. You, know what I mean? you, you see those little uh, decorations on uh, on Domani right there? <laughs> he said decorations. <laughs> no, he said he said decorations. He said decorations. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, man, because what are you thinking about? about <laughs> you like on Domani? You see the candles lit up, all the little trees and whatnot. You know, ain't nothing so. but decorations and jingle bells. I mean, jingle balls. <laughs> jingle balls. <laughs> well, what about work? Y'all like get into the little uh, like, yeah, Christmas man, we're doing, spirit yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, we're doing a uh, secret Santa Who'd at work. Uh, I got. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I still can't spell it out. I still can't. Well, you know what? Hold on, it's tomorrow, so the episode's gonna be out. Oh yeah. So it's my coworker. Uh, she's like 21, 22, and she she likes to paint a lot. Oh, so okay. I got a little paint set. You know what I mean? She she loves smoking sativa and like you got the water was like one. the limited the ones you get yeah. in elementary school. Mm. <laughs> you just Honestly, get two I mean, pack yeah. of Crayola <laughs> with the sharpening the sharpener in the back. Remember that shit? <laughs> yeah, well, anything really. I mean, cause you could draw on your canvas before painting it. Hell so, yeah. So yeah. So I got her so, so you say you got her some painting shit like yeah, the sativa like, yeah, shit. Yeah, like some painting shit and, and some sat- yeah, sativa. Yeah, yeah, some sativa. Okay. <laughs> and some uh, some canvases. And nice, you made her a mixtape. Nice. Yeah. Some cannabis. Some cannabis you, got, you got your mixtape just taped on the back of the canvas, just, <laughs> just in case. Yeah, CD taped on there. Yeah. You know what I mean? It says, check, it, check, me, check, out. check me out. Check me out. <laughs> it says, follow me back. Be sure, follow me back, <laughs> Be sure to tag me. <laughs> follow me on TikTok. Oh, <laughs> Do I recently, uh, I, wore, I made a TikTok like a while back, didn't fuck with it, and then I uh, made another one and put out like a couple videos out. And then one of them is starting to get like a lot of plays. Like I'm like, oh shit, okay. So, like, I mean, I, I haven't gotten into TikTok at all just because I don't want to dive into right. it. I'm but they, what way. people do say is that you do get a lot of interaction from TikTok. Yeah, but I wouldn't know. You know what I mean? From what I've heard is, if you're not on TikTok, you need to get onto it. And yeah. we're we we have an account. It's got a, a decent following. We're not very active on it, but I've seen other businesses. I've seen other. I mean. Look at the personalities. Look at the stars that come off TikTok. Yeah, mm-hmm. you the know, money so it, it's yeah. um, we, we need to do a better job at it. And from what I've heard, is you, you really need to jump on that train. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like Instagram's kind of <clears throat> following the wave with the reels. Mm-hmm. Like they have the audios that you do your dance or perform mm-hmm. to, or the voiceovers. Yeah, just like TikTok. Bro. But TikTok has a majority of them. Mm-hmm. But Instagram's slowly like catching up. Instagram is always the one to just be. Follow. I don't want to say taking other people's shit, but just Copycat. like, but just like evolving into like this Thanos thing where like, oh, Vine is doing little videos. Well, guess what? We're doing those videos too. Boom, took them out of business. Oh, but I now, mean, that's, you know I mean, that's what any app though. Right? Think about it. Before Snapchat was just pictures, well, and, and then, then they added the text, yeah. and then they added the vo- the the calls, then they added the message, and it was the same thing. Instagram was just posting pictures, then they added the message, the DMs. And then same thing, the calls. So everything kind of just follows each other. I think whatever's trending. Mm-hmm. I don't. And and I feel for Instagram, at least they try to buy you out first, and then they don't. So when once they can't buy you out, they're like, "Fuck it, we're just gonna take your idea." Then. Overdevelop it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's what they've been doing. Bro. They, they try to do that with Snapchat. You can do everything on Instagram. They try to do that with Snapchat. They try to buy out Snapchat. I was like, "All right, fuck it. Then we're just gonna take your idea. Then we're just gonna implement it in our shit." Then, they put a little bomb. Yep, you and can only see it once. Yep. <laughs> yeah, those uh, those Snapchat fil- like Snapchat filters, Instagram filters now. So yeah, stories, stories like all that, yeah, like, all that shit. Instagram is really trying to be the fucking like, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, think about it. It's Facebook, Instagram. Is it TikTok with them? What about the Meta? And they have the new well, Meta. They changed. They changed it. Facebook to Meta, no? Well, not Facebook itself, but the, but the company Metaverse. itself. The Metaverse. The Metaverse. It's called Meta. Shh. And then that mm. under that umbrella is like Facebook, uh, Instagram, and they have two other ones. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. Crazy. crazy. Social media is crazy. Mark Zuckerberg. 
<laughs> it's crazy. But shit, we got uh broken back, right? Yeah, yes. broken What's up, Mark? Yeah. What's good? What's good? You know what we got the, hey, listen, it's, it's just me this time. Sorry. No, it's no, all it's good. good. Hey, man, shout out to Justin, man. Shout out to Justin. Yeah, Justin's back in Florida <clears throat> or Alabama with yep. his mom. So he's uh Christmas break, enjoying that. Yet first time in two years seeing his mom since mm, That's good, man. Last time he went back, he went back for spring break and barely made it back because they were shutting down some of the flights. His airport shut down like a week after he left, so he would have been trapped there for like a year. Yeah, so, yeah, so oh, he's shit. like, "Do I want to go back this time?" Because they're kind of shutting things down. I yeah, said, just... I'm like, "You need to go back to see your mom." Yeah, it's, it's time, you know. Mm-hmm. So two years is too long. So let me enjoy the holidays. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a scary thing like taking these these flights, you know. Like you yeah. never know what could happen. Like oh, your plane gets delayed and. Delayed and delayed. Oh, a lot of cancellations. Yeah, yeah, a lot of changes are going on. You know, travel isn't what it used to be. But, you know, I mean, the whole world's not what it used to be. Or at least this world isn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really not. You want to play? What's that Tom Hanks movie when he gets stuck at the uh, at the airport? The Terminal. I think it was called The Terminal. <laughs> but you end up in a situation like that, bro. You just want to go on the flight. And, hey, no, you can't fly back. So what do you want me to do? Like, well, I mean, when the pandemic first started and they shut everything down, there was people literally living in the airport because they couldn't go nowhere. Yeah. Like See, legit scary, shit, dude. you know. People really. I remember seeing. Uh, if you're just there for a label layover, like mm-hmm. you're fucked. And yo. you're, yeah, you're stuck there. Like, where are you gonna go? Like, shit. I ain't got money to live in a hotel for like six months. Like, exactly. what the fuck? You know? Yeah, it's just not. So what did they do? Did they like provide any care for them? Or I don't. I don't think so. I mean, they can't kick him out because the guy said he was literally living there. You know. But he stopped watching the news. Yeah. He's like, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's yeah, saying it wasn't interesting open. enough for me, though. <laughs> Somebody's he said, I'm right here on my couch. Me. I don't really like shows like that, you know? Oh, <laughs> uh, man. You think we're going to go to another lockdown, though? No. I, I, mean, I don't huh? think that people are allowed any longer. Right. Cause like, the first time I was like, okay, money. let's do it, whatever, you know? But it's like. What happened? Like we got fucking hoodwink last time. It was two weeks, just chill out, whatever. They it pushed it. My ass. <laughs> For real. Fuck that shit. And it was funny, like, people were, like, kind of, like, I remember, like, fuck it, it's just two weeks. We're just going to be inside for two weeks. Mm-hmm. No, hell no. Once that shit started reaching months, we're like, all right, man, this shit's ridiculous, bro. What the fuck am I going to do? I know. Well, not just that, but it's, like, what we were experiencing here was not what everybody else was experiencing you know like my parents were in the midwest Mm -hmm. they were semi-locked down but they could always go out and eat my brother and sister are in texas which was like oh fuck it right just like florida yeah you know and so i mean our world is completely different than what other people experienced the last two years that's you true. know, our reality is not everybody else's reality. That's so true. I mean, who was the strictest? New York and California. New York, was among... California. Yeah. 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 California, yeah. Everybody says that people... Uh, you can't go in... In the... Arkansas saying they never really shut down. Like... No. Or if you go in, in, like, Northern California, you know, up in, you know, there's some places where they just, you know, they did their own thing, you know. Right. But in New York, they just shut down Broadway again, a lot of plays. You know, they're talking about Times Square, shut that down for the, the drop. Oh, oh, for sure correct. they're going to do years. that. You know what I mean? So even out here, nothing has really changed except for the mask mandate, which I've yet to see really anybody enforce it except for a couple of stores. But, you know, there are a lot of cancellations in town for people that don't want to come to town just because of that. Because of the mandate, yeah. I mean, at least we don't have where they have to uh, check your vaccine card, I guess. New York, yeah. Because in New York, they asked everywhere you went, you had to show it, like, everywhere you went. But it's just here. But but that's what I'm saying. I was just about to say, you go to San Francisco, Eric, he was just over there probably like a couple months ago, said he couldn't go or... Well, our homie I, couldn't go anywhere yeah, because he I was wasn't vaccinated. I a friend that wasn't vaccinated and stuff like that, and he couldn't go anywhere. Yeah, like, we couldn't even go out to eat, so it was like fucking internet. Oh, yeah, because the restaurants were checking. But it's yeah. like it's a bogus system because you can show him a picture of it, and it's like, all right. Yeah, literally. It's not like they're checking numbers, vaccine numbers. It's like so fucking basic. Like, yeah, just, yeah. Just taking a glance at it and like, all right, whatever. They don't really, probably don't even care. It, you could have just. Doodled. I guess the only thing is like they yeah. ask you for your ID, so all. That has to match your fucking name, okay. and you're good. 
This is ridiculous, bro. I don't fucking get it. But I mean, it's not for me to get. I feel like it's just so. Much. I mean, I mean, we discussed this many times, yeah. and it's like uh, same results. It's like, just fuck it now. It's just. I don't know. I mean, sometimes you gotta voice your opinion. You know, I mean, it's if you sit back and if you just absorb it and just allow it. I mean, you look at the history of evolution of societies. I mean, if you just allow things to be mandated and pushed down on you, it'll happen. <laughs> You know, it, it slowly your rights are taken away. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's just you can't do this and you can't do this. And it's like, like this morning we were up at the airport and these <clears throat> little kids are like a year old and the parents are fighting them to put a fucking mask on them. The kids, are, I mean, come on, seriously? Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, you know, at, at a certain point, like, you know, if you don't want to get the vaccine, if you, don't, I mean, you have to start living again. You know, I mean, you have to start. You have to start living with the virus. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's not a disease. They keep saying it's a disease. It's not a disease. It's no. A virus. It's yeah. A, it's, a it's like a flu. Yeah. It's like a cold. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, man. I I got the cold a couple months ago, and that shit knocked me out way harder than I guarantee anybody who's ever had COVID. Like, um, people, yeah, because so. people's like, oh, I have COVID. Really? Like, it wasn't that bad, but I had a cold and I was out. Dude. I thought I was gonna die. Like that, but it lasts like two days and it was over. You know what I mean? Like, well, I mean, I just recorded with COVID and it was two days. Like that really hit me. Like cough, cough, cough. Maybe cough, one day. Cough, cough. <laughs> yeah. But that was it. And then after that, it's like, all right, well, if I breathe, <gasps> then I'll fucking cough. Other than that, it's like, no. When I fucked I'm around good. and got it back in nineteen, two thousand nineteen, yeah, I was bad. Like, oh, you was you, you was early on. You went to the hospital? I didn't. Oh, okay. I, didn't. I got I, it in two thousand nineteen. Yeah, I was on a nebulizer. I didn't know what it was. I didn't, they know, didn't know what it was, was either. Yeah. What's what's a nebulizer? But it's a breathing, that little thing. To help oh, breathe. so you got yeah. it like towards the end of 2019 or how like yeah, December yeah. of 19. I got oh, it in October. So that was the beginning. That's when nobody knew nobody what COVID really knew was. What it was. Yeah. They thought they thought I had uh, acute pneumonia. At the oh time shit! Because it, it was kind of the same thing, you know. And I mean, it was. I get allergies every year, and I smoke. Mm -hmm. and I mean, so I mean. Having a smoker's cough, I mean, whatever. Right. You know, to me, it was like, okay, I'm sick. Right. You know, I, I never <clears throat> once thought I was dying, mm -hmm. you know, but I could see if you're in your 70s and 80s and 90s and you're yeah. 300 pounds and you've oh, fucking yeah. smoked all your life. I mean, you, you're going to, it's either diabetes or it's fucking your lungs or your heart's going to get, at that point, something's going to give out. Yeah. You know, but that could happen with just the regular flu. You know, yep. it can, yeah. I just don't. It's, uh, I don't want. I don't even want to get. I don't want to dive into. I don't want to dive into. Let's just push forward. I mean, uh, like I said, people experience a difference. My brother went to a hospital. I was at home. I didn't feel like it hit me hard, but my tolerance for pain and shit like that, like it's way yeah. high. Yeah. You know, but Anyways. I guess it's here. But he gets tortured. That's his fetish. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's why his pain tolerance is so high. Uh, <laughs> he has the battery, the car battery. I was, I was wondering. I knew there was <laughs> the a car Honda battery car battery, battery in your car in your house, bro. Like, what was that for? <laughs> you know, I guess one of the one things that really uh, that got me upset <laughs> about the whole COVID thing was when I had friends that were in the same business in other states that weren't shut down mm. and they were thriving while you were forced to just not be able to do shit. Couldn't open. Oh, you know. Wow. Or you could open, but to, to who? Yeah. We're in a tourist town. The hotels can't take tourists. Right. It so horrible, it's like, man. So you say you manage restaurants, right? Are they all in their area or are they like you go yeah. like in, outside the states as yeah, well? Like? Yeah, they're they're all in the central coast here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, man. So that's probably very stressful for you. <laughs> well, no. So I, like, I just do consulting for restaurants. So like I'm not in a certain one all the time. So I'll be in one for a little bit. I'm in one now for you know four or five six months however long it's going to be um but i mean just my background is in the restaurant business so watching all these people go through it and not knowing what's going to happen and being in this area in this market yeah fine you're open but you're open to who there's there's no tourists in town yeah there's no, there's no money golf coming in. tournament there's no pebble beach there's, there's no, no all those events that we usually have got canceled right well think so, about it the grotto and scales were open forever the grotto still open is the same ownership but the scales shut down yeah like, they shut down everything their gift shop everything like that has to tell you something someone that's been around for that long 
to close, there's, you know, this year is going to be tougher on a lot of places compared to last year because last year a lot of places had forgiveness on rent. There's a lot of unemployment money flowing around, extra money, this and that. You know, this year you're open, you're paying rent, you're, you know, there's no forgiveness on a lot of stuff. Yeah. There's no extra unemployment for people that weren't working that are getting extra grand or two grand or whatever it was, you know, so that money's not coming in. So <clears throat> you're seeing places close up. I mean, there's a place that just closed up by my house. You know, they were fine last year. This year they packed everything up. You know, we closed the store this year, mm. you know, so it's, it's not easy, you know, so it's, it, we'll see what's going to happen. You think that the central coast area is a place that's very dependent on tourism though? Oh yeah, one hundred percent, bro. Yeah, like, that's like they, there's like there's like because you got the, the pe you got your people here, but obviously you're, you're, you you can't depend think, on the people you here, right? I think the whole Monterey area, the the Central Coast, has got like twenty five, twenty six thousand people. That's not that many. Yeah, you know, and not. you know, not so you, everybody goes out and eat. Or no, goes out and. Well, I'm first trying to save money right yeah. now. Well, I'm first buying frozen but food yeah. from the grocery store. See everybody store. at grocery outlet, you know what yeah, I mean? That's what it'd be popping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to run into them, you know what I mean? You're going to run into yeah. the grocery outlet and Target. You know, we depend on those people that come into town that saved up all year for... Mm -hmm. for Just to spend For here. a weekend. Yeah. I mean, I'm in, I've been in the hotel uh, industry for like 10 years now, and it's I know, like, if you don't make your money during, like, these four months, you're going to do bad the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. Because come... November, December, January, February is dead. Like, mm -hmm. like it, it's, it's just crazy. But when you get into it and you realize, like, okay, we need people to come here because if not, like, we're not going to make it. Because like you said, you're still paying rent. Water bill, electricity, all that shit that you use to keep to stay open adds up every every month. You know, yeah. like, I see these people paying, like, fucking six grand for a water bill, like... When the oh, fuck do you man. see someone paying six grand for a fucking water bill? Yeah. That shit hit two hundred one time. Is that shit like alkaline? <laughs> that shit alkaline. That shit alkaline. That shit alkaline. But I mean, I would. Agua bendita. Agua bendita. But it's crazy though because when you start seeing the backgrounds in a lot of businesses, you need you start to understand like, yeah, we all want raises, we all want to get paid more, but it's like, okay, you well. You understand why they're not able to. Yeah. Or why, at, or why it's hard to do so because like, okay, somewhere we're good, we're making money. But then, okay, we increase a dollar for everybody. That's 15 employees. You know, that's like up. an extra dollar, like an extra of five to 10 grand that you're paying each month, regardless you're getting business or not. You got to pay these people, you know? Yeah. And a lot of these businesses in this area, they're all independent. You know, so I mean, it's not just is the business open and making money, it's are they able to take a paycheck out of it and pay their home mortgage, rent, whatever else on top of it? You know, so I mean, it's. It's a lot of times businesses it's, don't even make money. It's are they able to even pull a paycheck out to live off it? You know, and it's, you know, but I, again, when things are good here, they're really fucking good. They're really good. Yeah. You know, and the, the one thing I can say when I moved here in 2008, this area, because we were going through the whole housing market crash. Yeah, it was around that time. Yeah. This area, it seems like it has like a, a bubble around it. It, it you know, we, we're affected like everybody else, but not to the degree of everybody else. Yeah. You know, it's Monterey's kind of got this little pristine little, everybody comes here no matter what. Yeah. Maybe not in the droves and yeah, you know, things sucked here for quite a while during COVID, but not nearly as bad as San Francisco. Yeah. You know, so. I mean, you've seen all the break-ins, <clears throat> like people legit. Still. Leaving their trunks it's getting, open. It's getting yeah. worse now. It's getting worse Putting now. their windows down, leaving nose. Like, I had their shit in my car. Like, come on. Like, I had a guest come in today. Like, can we please leave our luggage here? I'm like, look, you don't have to worry about it. This ain't San Francisco. No one's going to break into your car. No one's going to take your luggage. But you go down to Carmel at 14, they're going to take your shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just got busted into in Carmel. Oh, oh see? Shoot. But it's it's happening here yeah, slowly. Yeah, oh, Del Monte, slowly. Del Monte got hit. The mall got hit. And Carmel got hit. I mean, they the, they robbed the money mall. The uh, what with the store? Runs, right, where people are robbing shit or just yeah, breaking into it cars? Was a sunglass Hut. No, no, mm. Sunglass mm. Hut. Out of oh, all the stories. Yeah. No, which one, guys? Oh. The believe frames are expensive. Believe, that's frames. what I was gonna say. Believe it or not, some glasses go <laughs> yeah, for like no, three, no, four hundred dollars. Yeah, like, for real. Imagine quick. they're like debating it. Like, uh. you know, it's, it's quick. I think the Apple Store shut down. They said screw it. Yeah, yeah for crazy. really. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, but they imagine, got hit here, though. The Apple Store got hit yeah. here, I think. Imagine the Apple Store down in uh, in San Francisco, where it's literally in Union Square. You go two blocks away from anywhere in Union Square. It's just... Oh, bro, you're like, yo, what the fuck happened, bro? You be walking into, walking into a whole different dimension sometimes, bro. Like, it's crazy. I mean, crazy things world. are getting tough, but and I think it has to do with the government not... Well, n- don't blame the government. Just <laughs> that extra money, like you were saying, all that EDD money that was floating around... People aren't getting that no longer. Yeah. People aren't working. Well, the other thing, too, is even if you get caught, they release you. Yeah, I mean, that's there, what they're saying. There's, there's Wait, what was that law? I, never, I I forgot to look it up where, like you said, like Eight, if it's not above something. $1,000. Okay, there you go. Mm-hmm. You know, so you can steal anything up to $1,000 in San Francisco, and it's pretty much they just release you. Yep. They, gonna, yeah, they won't. They won't prosecute you. Nothing. You don't get tickets. Yeah, for them. I mean, the. I mean, it may be six months down the road, but you can do a lot of damage in six months. Exactly. But also look at this. Look how it's being so organized. Like, all right, we're gonna get a group of thirty guys. You know, yeah. Let's go ahead and run up in there. There's no way they're gonna. It's very rare they'll stop two of you. Now it's a whole mob of thirty. No, they're yeah. just gonna step aside. You know, what I mean, it is what it is. Maybe two of those guys get caught, but then they just go thirty, and all that money is just there. You know? Just floating, That's bro. True, like it's crazy. Um, like thirty dudes run up into the Apple Store. Yeah, think well, about thirty dudes walking into your dispensary. Are you gonna do anything? Just about rip it? everything. Exactly, up. and that's been going around. And they were telling us like, yo, like keep an eye out for like large groups of people, or like of like if a lot of cars park, like you know, what I mean, just stay on your like, you know, what I mean, just be. You alert. mean it's not the rush? <laughs> we about to get robbed. It's not the rush. We about to get robbed. Hell no, we about to get robbed. I don't know if you remember, Five but people is a rush, man. <laughs> we get thirty. Oh man, I'm out of there. That's it. I'm already in my car. I'm is like, that break this one so we can take this weed? Hey, so I'm about to take my break right now. All right, real quick. I don't. He puts hey, on the ski mask, uh, goes in with the group. Yeah. Like, like, all right, y'all, the CBD hit bro. I got to leave it. <laughs> I know the code. I know the code. I know the code. <laughs> no, but what I was going to say is when, I, I know the discount code. when dispensaries used to, when they were first opening up, they were getting broken into a lot. Was that that Monterey Bay creation, the MBAM, the mm-hmm. first one at uh, the Real Oaks? They got hit. They got hit. Yeah. But also, like in areas like like Fresno and Bakersfield, you know what I mean? Little, oh, like, that's, little, that, yeah, that's different. They were getting broken into a lot. Like, I mean, think about it. There's pounds of weed in there. Mm-hmm. And right now, when they build the clubs, they have the whole gate. Now they have more security. Before, it's like, okay, well, this is a shop. I'm just going to open my shop. Yeah, yeah. They thought of it as a smoke shop. Yeah. But in reality, no, bro. You need way more security than that, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. Definitely. Doesn't need security. Yeah, so what about that holiday spirit, man? Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, 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 no reindeer. Come on. What do you guys think? Or who do you guys buy gifts for, and why do you guys keep buying gifts, bro? Because I feel like the older I get, the I'll, more pointless it gets. Yeah, <laughs> like yo, like why? Like you don't need this gift, but I'm only doing it just because of the fact that everybody getting a gift. Everybody's getting a gift, and I will feel a way if I if someone gets you something and you don't get. It. Yeah, I look every year. I tell everybody I'm not buying no gifts for nobody. But you end up buying. But gifts. then you end up fucking buying gifts for everybody. What yeah. you get your little brother? Huh? What'd you get your little brother? Uh, I got Everything. him a... <laughs> Everything in the world. It's not his birthday. It's not his birthday. It's not his birthday. <laughs> My little brother, if everybody knows, on his birthday, and he's yeah. a good kid. Yeah. I take him to Walmart, like, pick whatever you want. Like, it's on me. Whatever you want. I, I don't tell him no one anything. he get a fucking Switch. he get a PS5. Like, whatever he throws in the car, like, I'll buy it for him. But he'll yeah. be like, I just want a football. And I'll be encouraging, like, you don't want a remote? You don't want a protected thing? <laughs> but he wanted switch remotes, some little archaeologist uh, little digging set that where you dig out bones or that's dope. Okay, some crystal shit, and he said that was it. But mm. he's a smart kid. I told him we're gonna go buy Christmas. He's like, no, we have the fake one. If we buy the fake one, think about it. We only pay once instead of buying the real one. We pay a hundred dollars every year, and that's rent. And to him, that's rent. hundred bucks is rent. Wow, and he's thinking like that that young. That's you crazy. feel me? And then it's like to me, he's like, oh shit, like. This nine-year-old's thinking like this, like, you know, and to me, that's like, okay, well, he understands that there's things that cost money, mm-hmm. and if you could buy it every year, and he's, he's thinking, like, we could throw it away, we could buy a fake one, and we could put it up every year, you know, like. Well, right. start buying them some shoes. <laughs> You'll start flipping them. Yep. That's real, though. There you go. No, but he there come at go. me have, like. Have him internet but, broken, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, like, that's the thing. He comes up to me and says, like, look, I got an idea, and he says. Cause he started for a while. He was making orange juice, and he was mm-hmm. selling it to me and my brother. He's like, "Yeah, we should get a stand, and we we could 
sell all these juices and we'll make a lot of money. And then he came like, I got an idea. We could buy some Gatorades and we could sell the Gatorades for like $2 and we could start making a lot of money. But the fact that he's thinking like that just like makes me happy because in a way I'm doing something right where he picks up something off me. Right. Or the conversations we have, he's picking certain things from it, you know, and it's just that he's motivated to do this and he has an understanding that, okay, like just because the money's there, it doesn't mean like we can do whatever with it. He thinks I have a lot of money. He thinks I have a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money, but he in his in his head's like, oh, Ricky got a lot of money, like whatever, yeah. you know. But he's still not like, okay, I need this because it's expensive. Like he's so preservative and yeah. he's thinking ahead, you know. And it's he's like motivated too. That's the best thing you can give to a child, right? You know, in my opinion. But going back to the thing, like I say, I don't buy gifts, but then you buy gifts. Um, but I limited it. My goddaughter. My wife, of course. You Let got her. a what? Huh? What'd you say? My goddaughter. Oh, okay. Whoa. I thought you said. I thought he said I got a daughter, yeah, and yeah. I was like, wait, wait, wait. Are you just dropping yeah, a bomb on me? You haven't been gone that long. Oh, damn. Oh, she, she was conceived in New York. York. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, she's in New York still. She's a New York baby. Come on. <laughs> she gonna pop out like dead ass, like dead, dead ass doll, dead, dead ass be <laughs> in Monterey. In Monterey. <laughs> she, she calls you dickhead. <laughs> like, Yo, man, this ain't pizza. She came out like bing bong. Like, <laughs> <laughs> What's you up, Ricky? God? Take me out to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, limited just to my immediate family, and that's it. I mean, I don't know who you guys buy gifts for anymore. But immediate family only, right? Yeah. I remember I went out and tried to get something every year, something for everybody, even if it was just a cologne or something. But it's like, man, fuck that shit, like. All that shit. Y'all didn't get me nothing, and I got all y'all something. So it's like. But here's the thing: you get people something, like, oh, you didn't have to get me anything. So like, I know I didn't really. I probably shouldn't have. You know what I mean? But fuck, yeah. I don't know, man. I I don't know. Whatever. Get in the Christmas spirit, I guess. Yeah, if, I mean, if you're in the spirit, <laughs> be in the spirit. Don't, just don't expect anything back, because that's. I think that's where people fuck up. They expect something back. Yeah. Yeah. And then next thing you know, you know, it's a little. Uh, I did you this solid. You know what I mean? A little tug of war solid. like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so, you know, most likely past memories or experiences get brought back up, and you know, and then it, it leads to a little tussle, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would think Christmas if it comes tussle. from the heart, go ahead and do it. If not, just don't even bother about it. Because you're going to get hurt if they don't get you nothing. Yeah. It's all about expectations, too. It's like if you're expecting a present, you know, you're probably going to be let down. Yeah. You know, that's one thing. It's like, I, it's like I tell everybody, it's like, I, I don't give gifts. Because to me, you know, one thing is I'm in the retail side, but it's I, I hate being guilted into giving a gift because it's it's Christmas. Yeah, just, and it's not. Just that's... let me be with my family. Let's have dinner. Let's do an activity. Let's do have an experience together. Mm -hmm. But why is that gift in the box making this day special? Because that's you real, play that real. shit for an hour, if that, mm -hmm. and I guarantee in six months it's not going to be around. Yeah, you know, and and it got it got to the point to where like it was such a hassle and the pressure of getting something that are they going to like it? Are they going to use it? Fuck it, gift card. <laughs> now, now it's like, <laughs> yeah. why am I lot, even doing this? A lot this? of gift cards. A lot of gift so cards. So now I tell you, you, don't you're not getting a gift and don't expect one because if you do, you're going to be let down. You know, I mean, so, that's a straight up answer, though. No, that's I, I like that. That's why I told everybody I'm not getting gifts, but I cave in, but just for my immediate family. But well, it's, it's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's 100. It is. Bring that it, shit it, back. It really is. It really is. This is a fucking really year is. you're bringing that shit back, and you're giving them the gift receipt that you brought back and said, it's because I like you. <laughs> because I like it, I get you nothing. <laughs> but it's funny that you said the gift cards, because Amazon says, oh, if you can't get it in time, you can buy a gift card. And give them that instead of the gift. Give us your money one way or the other. <laughs> exactly. yeah. Yeah. But here's the thing. It's just a whole fucking marketing ploy, man. Because, like, here's the thing. Like, you can get somebody a gift card and you give them the gift card and be like, oh, I can tell you just waited last minute. You just put this money in this gift card because you didn't put the time into in the effort into a thoughtful present. But then you give someone a thoughtful present and be like, oh, shit, this is not really what I wanted. This and that. So, like, it's just it's a lose-lose situation, bro. Unless you ask them and be like, oh, what do you want? But, of course, they're going to say some fucking ridiculous shit. Like, bro, I'm not trying to spend $300 on your ass. Like, I love you, but. <laughs> well, here's the thing. 
you were expected to give them a gift because they've been giving you a gift and obviously you gave them a gift last year. If you don't give them a gift this year, Break the they're, cycle. they're not gonna expect it next year. It was like, oh you're well, right. next year, you're like, oh well, Ricky didn't give us anything last year. Yeah, that's what he was saying. That's yeah. what I gave it him. That's I'm weak. Right. I'm weak. I'm sorry. That's the way to do it. Give people no expectation. Uh, expectation. So you ain't gotta do All shit. Right. Um, <laughs> Christmas morning. I don't have much going on. I'm gonna come to your place. I'm gonna lay the law down. And be like, listen, this year, Ricky. No ain't giving you guys shit. <laughs> I'm taking all these gifts. <laughs> <laughs> He's your lawyer. Listen, I'm speaking on behalf of Ricky. All this shit's fucking going back. It's in his heart. He wanted to do it. The intentions were there, but the shit's going back. <laughs> yeah. the intentions were there. It's all going back to Ricky LLC. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and we're playing with this shit tonight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. You yeah, heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, man. If, if it's not socks, then I don't see myself uh, using the gift <laughs> oh, again. You know? Hey, speaking of socks, are those in and out socks? They are. Where the oh. fuck did you get those? Damn. Right. Ah, I so don't right. answer right. that. Right. said right. No. Those are fired. Uh, you have to go online and get them. Uh, like in and outcom Yeah, it's the only place you can get them. <laughs> that's crazy. Wow. Exactly. I'm I'm really pay them. And once you get them, people see you know awesome. I'm saying no, I'm right. going. I'm going right now. I'm going right now. No, I believe him though. You can't just go Instagram. buy them. Yeah, you, know? you can't just go to the drive-through. <laughs> no, no. Can I get some socks with a double double? You can, but they'll tell you no. Yo, man, let me get a hat. One of those hats. I'll tell you what though. I mean. It's like one of the new trendy new things now is socks. I mean, it's because there's... It really is, though. Yeah. Right? Uh, Tyler, I mean, the creator, I feel like he really pushed the whole yeah. sock game to another level. Who's that? Who? Uh, Ty Tyler, the oh, creator. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Golf. Yeah, I tell you what, his clothes, I mean, we've been trying so hard to get access to his inventory, and they just, I mean, even on the resale side, we were trying to get stuff, and... Either they track emails and credit cards and whatever else, but orders get canceled, canceled. We just couldn't really? get... Really? Yeah, it's... His is, is some of the hardest... His and FTP mm. on the resale side is some of the hardest stuff to get. Um, but, like, his socks and his T-shirts, I mean, they're really, really sought after. Golf and mm. golf weighing and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. That's on pop... That's on, on purpose, though, right? They make that What's difficult... That? They make it difficult to get on purpose, right? Because like know, FTP I, is like a brand that's very hard to get. I mean, well, it's, it depends on where you're at. Also. You can get it. So like FTP, like <laughs> I gotta be careful. So FTP, mm -hmm. like the the my interpretation is that they probably sell, produce, and then ship because mm -hmm. you buy the stuff and you get it like five to six months later. So I think they're probably selling it. They're producing it to order, so they don't have no losses, and then it ships out great for them it works for production the consumer side i mean when you buy a t-shirt you want the fucking t-shirt you don't yeah. want to wait six months you know yeah. exactly. so it's you know i mean i i understand it a little bit for the business side it helps them to grow without having any losses and yeah and it's worked for them i mean zach has fucking taken that company and blown it up mm. he just released um they're doing a collab with fucked f-u-c-t you know, I mean, that's a huge collab, you know, um, but they don't sell to any stores and Golf Wang just looks down on you. I mean, they, they, they don't want their stuff in stores, but you know, his, his bottom line doesn't rely on that store. You know, he's no, got, yeah. he's got money. Yeah. So he can create limited edition stuff and create the demand for it because he's still got money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, which is what I feel like artists is that's the route they take. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think it it gives them some <clears throat> um, ability to capture the market on the creative side, and then also kind of create the buzz. You know, because his store in Fairfax is always busy. You know, it's always hopping. You know, is Fairfax still the spot in LA to go ahead for like all the street? Fairfax, Melrose, I think is taking over more because. The trend has gone more into the shoes the last three or four years, and I think that trend is really it's it reached its peak. Because if you look yeah, at yeah, like cool I think so kicks, too. Well, you started looking at the cool. We talked about the cool grays. They dropped a million pairs, and Nike is starting to up their prices. My interpretation is that is they're trying to capture some of the resale market, mm -hmm. and that's so that's one of the decisions that we made is we want to get out of the resale in the shoes. We want to go straight retail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trends don't last forever. They don't. Okay. 
They and always change. They they do. And every how many years? Maybe Call every three or four? Seven to eight years. Seven to eight years. Okay. You, can, you can have a strong where you grow, and then it'll reach a, a bell curve at the top. And then boom, going and then back it, to some It'll start style. going down a little bit, and it's still pretty good, right? But it's going down, and then when it gets to the bottom, and by the time it gets to the bottom, it's too late. You're There's you're already there. something else, too, popping up. Like, right. There's always going to be something new. Mm-hmm. And plus, like, some shit comes back, too, like, like the tie-dye. Like t- yeah. a lot of tie dye came back. back. That's oh, right. last year and it's still going it's still strong, mm-hmm. strong tie dye. Back of your clothes is coming back. Yeah. yeah. Another thing I saw is like a lot of <clears throat> custom. Like people don't want just the regular shit you can buy in the store any longer. Like they want a one of one. They, they want, want a one, one of one, one yeah. or they want something unique. Like I seen this dude. Uh, he made like coffee shoes out of the Air Forces. Yeah. And he's talking about well, I've gotten like two thousand shoes of 2,000 orders of this pairs of shoes to order, you know, but it's like just the uniqueness, the difference. Like Ronnie Renner, look at his zebra reverse. Can you show the camera your shoe? Reverse, reverse lace shoe. I don't know if I can. Like, I mean, like, well, like, shit, like who has those? Like, you know, you, people know. see you and you stand <laughs> out and it has a clear bottom. <laughs> you take the chair. <laughs> and it has a clear bottom. Like, you feel me? Like, think about it. Yeah, With a pink bottom? You seen it here first. It out. But yeah. I think that's kind of like fashion, though. Is, I mean, sooner or later, it's well, sooner or later, you don't want to have what everybody else has, right? Yeah, you know, exactly. So if every shoe store is going to have Jordans and Dunks and this and that, I I never thought I'd ever see Air Forces in a resale store. Well, here. that's well, that's what trips me out a lot. Where like things start getting super expensive. We're like. When the fuck was New Balance so expensive? Now like a hundred and twenty dollar a pair. Sockanese was always kind of a little bit expensive. Yeah. yeah, but like I mean, like even Reeboks. I mean, Reeboks are still cheap, but certain Reeboks will go ahead you know and what? go like one twenty, one forty. Yeah. Like I haven't seen any Reeboks in stores though, so I haven't seen a a price on a Reebok in the cool minute. Yeah, because the Reeboks with the collabs with somebody else is what's really selling. But I mean, you but you, that's you, any you shoe to, though. You get I, a collab with Costco, anybody. you get a Reebok. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, we got them at Costco. Yeah. yeah. One fifty. I'll shit. tell you what. <laughs> now, now watch. <laughs> in six months, that right. fucking Reebok at Costco is gonna be a fucking resale shoe. Yes. Big and ass. and you're gonna see that. How much is that shoe at fucking Costco right now? Like forty five, fifty okay, bucks. You're gonna see it on fucking resale stores for fucking ninety dollars. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because that's gonna be a ninety dollars shoe. That is the new Air Force that everybody can afford. Everybody can get exactly. And every fucking resale store can walk into Costco and get thirty pairs. And it's not a fucking problem. Fuck. Okay. And you made your custom shit to it. Shit. Okay, because here's the thing is, as a resale store, you have to have access to easy inventory that you can make easy margins. You can't can't always go out and buy off the street market because you're paying an inflated price. You want to get those 60 pairs at dirt cheap Mm -hmm. so you can double and triple, right? So I'm telling you, Air Forces, white Air Forces in a resale store, that's bullshit. Yeah. But... They're buying up all the inventory, mm. so you don't have a choice. You don't even see why Air Force is going to a Foot Locker, going to Champs. It's hard to even. I find try them. to find them. Yeah, you can't, them. Yeah, you can't no, get them no, no more. You can't. Get you really them. can't. You we do. started selling them like six, eight months ago, and I'm telling you, my employees gave me so much shit. I'm like, you know why I'm doing it? Because I can walk into any Foot Locker and Champs right now and buy them. I don't have to fight with anybody. I can go and buy Air Forces and I can buy Blazers, mm-hmm. and they're like, oh, and mids. I remember when Blazers is coming back, and Mitts people hated on Mitts for the longest. Yeah. But trust me, Mitts is gonna come you back too. Well, the Mitts has returned. <laughs> they're in resale stores mm-hmm. because you can go in, and you can get easy inventory, and put thirty bucks on it, and make your money. You know, so you're gonna start seeing that as things start running out, they're gonna start finding another avenue, another avenue. So what does it take to someone to make it hot? Because obviously, look, Air Force is a hot just because all the rappers, everybody's just wearing it. Everybody's wearing it. It's a legendary it. shoe. So who does it take for someone to just wear the all-white Reebok to go ahead and make it? Oh, the Reebok is a new thing again. Like, Because remember Champion. Champion was something you would find at Costco again. You know what's going to take? It's going to take, gonna take somebody like you to go buy that shoe and customize it and give it to me. And we'll send it off to somebody told and get you. it on their fucking foot. Mm. Fucking told you, Ronnie. And, and then here's here's mm. fucking the told you. I'm, a, I'm on the roll. Hit his chest again. Hit his chest again. I'm on the roll, man. I'm about to Rick Flair you right now. Woo! 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 Woo
I told Damn. you, man. You know I told you, man. Because fuck next thing you know is all everybody's gonna be like, oh wow, I can go buy this fifty dollar shoe and get some markers and fucking Crayola it and whatever else. And that's what I'm saying. Oh, They're making some crazy man. shit with Air Forces right now. That's mm-hmm. what's hot. That's what's selling, and people are just doing creative as fuck shit too. For example, you mentioned uh, the coffee dyed. Uh, so pretty much they no 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 oh. I know what you're talking about. Oh, okay, my bad. Because last week I came because I seen that video, and you I saw all Martha Stewart on your ass. And I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I saw the rope laces. I was like, oh, the rope laces look hard. So I went ahead. I went out of my way. Looked out for some rope. Drilled the shit. Oh, you in my drilled foot. that? Yeah, you saw that one? Yeah, and so that's I, what I'm saying. I went all the extra mile just to go ahead and make it look dope, and it looks right. dope. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. But. This is why I got some. I got some old, my is, own this, shit that this, I be this making. This is why you know? I said Ronnie, we need to do a collab. Because yeah, I got my own ideas. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's, it's not. I'm not got no control. Here, you can be unique because there's not millions of people like L.A., New York that are in. Th- so this true, area right? is is not fashion leading forward. Mm-hmm. Th- this area is really a fashion following area because. Yeah, a lot the, of people are dressed bad out here. Well, well, the trends. No, it's not <laughs> that's not that, what it means. He means that like, like, like trend from starters. <laughs> like you said, else. they come from LA, from San, San Francisco. We're not the trend Atlanta. setters. We're well, the trend no, followers. We're, yeah, we're, we're not. The, we're not the stars of it. So it, it takes somebody that's got the creative vision and also the personality that that can go out there and do that and just start doing that and start creating the the fashion, the custom, the things like that. We are gonna do this. I'm pounding your chest again. <laughs> hey, Eric, you see it? <laughs> <laughs> oh man but that's crazy though okay man. It, it's insane but the Put Reebok the idea i think it's an amazing idea when i was growing up you have no idea like if it ain't got the little green tag like i don't want those Reeboks. like mm. those classic like yeah. you want to be a homito type shit like <laughs> if it ain't got the green little shit mm-hmm. i don't want them because they had the regular white ones, they had some gray ones. Yeah. The but you blacks. always looked for that little green tag. Those were the ones you, you bought. And here in Monterey, they had the deal where the you G-box. buy two and mm. they give you a pair free. And yeah. you're like, okay. You're talking about the G Unit Rebox? The G Box. No, oh. just no. But not. But not. <laughs> you got so excited. No, they used to call them G Box. Oh, you just came through with a fresh pair of G Box. You know what I mean? G Unit, that was the Rebox? No, but you know, uh, did have a collab with the Reebok back in the day. Well, like yeah. that was like the first like kind of collab when he first came out with the sneakers. And I remember uh, Shoe Shout World, out Young Buck, Shoe World, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Shoe World got the uh, the G Unit Reeboks. Mm. I remember they had them. I got the I got those shoes like two times, three times. I remember yeah. the game put out the Hurricanes. Remember yeah, the Hurricanes from Mervin, Mervin, fuck. Mervin, Mervin, no piece of shit was... shoe. It was a piece of shit shoe. Mervin got broke violated down every somebody. night, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this they stay get they. St- you know what going. I want to wear did. again? Like people would steal for them. What? Like, all the Heelys. Uh, Heelys. Uh, I mean, they're kind of making a comeback because I see more people with them. Yeah, but they but just it, look so ugly, dude. They, they, they made them too bulky. They need to yeah, slim look, them down. Gonna, it was like a DC shoe on steroids. We'll, we'll come back to that one later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I still hope that you can roll around. I don't, no, that's I don't, what I'm saying. I don't think we should be the leader in that one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but I ain't going to lie. The first time I bought the pair, I was a fucking Save Mart. Now Save Mart and Marina used to be Alverson's. And I went, okay, let me try this shit. Woo! Oh, fucking you just fell backwards. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, nigga. All you, you lean back. All you had to I do was scared. I was scared. I was scared. You lean back. All, all you had to do was lift up your front toes, bro. That's it. Bro, I ain't gonna That's lie. what he did, but he put his leg all the way back. So I'm bad. not a skater. You know, I'm not Legs a rollerblader. <laughs> I just got the shoes. You're a glider. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was excited. And I go fucking. like this, bro. I fucking went like straight he's like, back. He's like, oh, like, shoes are banana peel. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared after that. I'd be like, I just lift them a little bit like. They took the they took the wheels away from me in, in elementary. <laughs> they they uh, took them from me in elementary too. Yeah. You couldn't have them in class. I know. I was, I was like, like, what the fuck? fuck? I'm rolling bro. around this motherfucker. God, dude, you gotta get your wheelies uh, bro, a license back. I don't know. I gotta go get yeah, it after man, school and shit. Nah, I remember they took that. They took my out. shit too. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie though, that, those now, are like the dopest shoes. Now, like, now I just walk around with some heavy ass feet and shit. <laughs> like motherfuckers, real shit. Come here, you walk around like clunk, clunk, I clunk, to play clunk, clunk, clunk. That's just crazy though. I forgot about those shoes. 
Oh shit! What do you think the next wave is? You know, you you see how like think always re- recycle like every seven years. Um, right now we're seeing like the baggy jean wave. The jerk. Uh, that, the jerks coming. People back? are fucking jerking. No, like, they're not. I swear to God, you have not seen TikTok. <laughs> people like, are jerking again. People are jerking again. Yep. I don't like legit. That. <laughs> I swear to God, they're jerking and they brought back that uh, Van sneaker song shit. Like, so they're that, jerking. That's they're jerking with baggy jeans on now. Uh, I don't remember, but because <laughs> I'd be down but to they're, with that. They're jerking yeah, yeah. like legit. It's jeans? coming back. You see all these new uh, uh, elementary school kids trying to jerk, and one older teacher or TA or whatever is showing them off because that was his era. Wow. I didn't know that. I didn't know jerking was coming back. Coming I didn't think back. jerking was going to come back. You know what I mean? But, clothing uh, wise. But clothing the kids wise, do it funny. I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> okay, pull it up. That's Jim, what I'm pull saying. It up. Like, I'm like in a gap period. I must have mm-hmm. like been between the teacher and the kids somewhere. Pull yeah, up that gap yeah. period yeah. was probably, yeah. this was back in the it day. Was probably man. Like a, I remember when this shit was coming out. It was, I was like a like, three year period. I was like, what the fuck is this, mm. bro? Yeah, it was a three year Don't period. Don't do that one. Do someone yeah. just dancing with it. Do someone with dancing with it. It was in between the areas like where the baggy jean was leaving and the the skinny jean was like taking over. That motherfucker that came out with that. I think it was fucking what's his the name? New boys. Uh, new boys. Was it new boys? New boys. Yeah. yeah. I always thought it was Soldier Boy. For you know, some I, 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 I always like the song with the Ray J. They won't tie me down. Mm. Yeah, that shit was cool. Just type in "I'm a jerk." You know what I mean? But that's see now they're doing all this extra. Yeah, shit. Yeah, they're doing all that extra bullshit. I guess that was like original jerking or something like something about the culture. I'm not sure. Just type in "I'm a jerk." Uh, it, it wasn't was new the boys. New boys. I'm a jerk. New boys. Yeah. Oh, you're a jerk. But yeah, this is definitely that era where it was like, all right, people were wearing the purple skinny jeans, like zebra printed. Lil Wayne yeah. was on this. Yeah. Skinny jeans. Lil Wayne was on this way. That's what I'm Skaters. Everybody jeans. wants to be a skater, even though you're not a skater. But the let me just. Yeah, so this is the jerk. The fucking psychic this is phones. the jerk. This was that era, you know what I mean? And I feel like I'm this saying. style lasted a long time, but I think yeah, it's leaving. See, I, just, I, can't it's do leaving. That. I think it lasted like a year or two, <laughs> but that's pretty long, though. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, this was the, the thing, right though. <laughs> and people got unique with it, but it's making a comeback. It's legit. I've seen I think, videos uh, on it. <laughs> you know, like we talk about fashion, you see like... Put jerking 2021. You've seen shoes, you've seen clothes, you've seen the whole resale, the streetwear. Look at those chains, though. You guys think those chains are going to make a comeback? Those yeah. long ass. They already are. They already are. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they just got picked up last week in San Francisco downtown. They, they got busted out. Yeah. <laughs> Bing bong. But yeah, man, it was. That was a whole era, you know, like people trying to incorporate the rocker phase with like a streets type of style. But I mean, now it's just coming back to like, all right, we're going back to the bagginess. Like Kanye West really influences a lot of shit, you know. He's right here rocking snow boots. He's rocking snow boots. (laughs) They're fired. Am I weird for saying those boots are fire? Because I want some. Bro, uh, I mean, I thought it was like you some taste, up, like super Uggs, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like some they're super Uggs. fire though, bro. <laughs> Why? What makes them fire to you? Like, they're, they're just, just so, they're just plain, aren't they? They're they just plain. But there's who else they look has like them? rain boots, kind of. Yeah, just the exactly. fact that he was wearing them makes it fire. Them. He says. No, no, but Kanye. But think about it. You go to fucking Marshalls and you could buy a pair that looks just like the ones Kanye had. Like if if it's there, sometimes it's not there. No, those are the easies. Look, no, no, never no, mind. The, those those, are, those the, are the ones I'm talking about. Those are the ones I'm talking about. Okay, okay. Those are fuego. They look what? like Uggs. I would rock those. They look like those Yeezy slippers with, how many with like, like turtles. How many times would you wear those? Exactly. Seriously. <laughs> Honestly, maybe. You'd rock those. No, 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 <laughs> seven times in a whole year. That's seven times in probably twelve months. But I, I, hold on, a year or twelve months? <laughs> year or 12 months. <laughs> Which one? Three hundred and sixty days. Three hundred and sixty five. Three hundred and sixty five. Three hundred and sixty five. But yeah, they're fire. I think they're fire. Nah, they're ugly as fuck. Uh, yeah, I, don't, but I don't know. Th- everybody said that about the Yeezys. About I, mean, the original I think people Yeezys are just and- wearing them because uh Kanye Ways is like the guy behind it. I'm gonna be honest, Bro. yo. But Kanye West, the way he wore him was ugly. I've seen other people wear them with style. You, you know think these I mean? will become the new Timberlands? 
Uh, nah, Tim no. Timberland's always going to be Timberland. Tim's is always going to be You know what I think it's going to come Look. down to is like what Connie is trying to do with Gap and with some of ZZ stuff is mm -hmm. the price point. He's trying to get the price point to where everybody can afford it. Exactly. And I think... But it's still expensive because these new hoodies just dropped. It was like 90 bucks for the regular Costco hoodies that what they look like. But they're like, oh, it's the material. And obviously it is. It is. But... 90 think, bucks well, for a hoodie still for a plain hoodie still a little up there that's it but it's it's not as bad as 190 or 350 for supreme or a babe yeah. they have a plain one they were just plain nothing on it though oh yeah yeah wow okay yeah yeah what is that sin la ropa has a fucking jacket for like nine nine ninety nine. Oh yeah yeah so i i think that's gonna be the new wave of fashion is going to be more economical stuff mm -hmm. because how long can this industry sustain this pricing to where everybody's paying five hundred dollars for a pair of shoes yeah. every month two thousand for a pair of jeans for a miri jeans you know what i mean like i feel on, like bro. with like, social media being such a big in. factor nowadays i feel like it's gonna it's gonna sustain a little bit till i believe my personal opinion till the metaverse takes over because car uh, Steph Curry just dropped some shoes in the metaverse. Like, virtual shoes are going to start trending when so people do, go so virtual. Do you, do you, so that's the one thing that we're doing with our clothing is we're dropping the NFTs with our releases. So do you think that maybe some of the whole hype over streetwear and shoes and clothing could... Instead of buying the shoes in person, they're going to buy shoes in the metaverse? I well, think so because, I've, I don't know, I mean, this is like thinking way forward, but you guys seen or have heard of that movie Player One? Yes, yeah. and we're that's like, what I always compare it like to, metaverse. Everybody's broke, yeah. but everybody's rich inside the game. I feel like that's the direction that, in a way, we're kind of heading not fully. But think about everybody's so becoming so isolated, no one's being social anymore, like... If you could, and everybody wants to be an Instagram influencer or a model or a Twitter star, I mean, not a Twitter, fucking TikTok star. Imagine if you could be that person in the metaverse and everybody there around you is literally with the little fucking, what do you call those fucking? Uh, goggles. Avatar. The goggles, the avatar, and you become a real superstar in the metaverse. Like, I really feel like that thing is going to take over all it's this gonna social happen. media I shit. It's going to happen. I think it is. And people are going to be so much into it that. You got to create stuff for that. You got to create stuff for the avatar. Okay, Nike dropped a shirt. Okay, he's going to drop it in real life, but he's going to drop it in the metaverse. People are guaranteed going to go more for the shit on the metaverse than in real life because everybody's eyes and focus at, is going to go NFTs, into that. Look at NFTs, look at art, look at crypto. If you can break down NFTs in like a two-minute segment to me, like how would you go ahead and just do it, explain it real quick? Because like NFTs, like I, I kind of get the, the concept and what they're trying to do, but it's still confusing to me because essentially like all right can you just explain yeah, <laughs> so I, I i got a pretty good understanding not i mean i got friends that have a very in-depth understanding right. so it, obviously it's it's artwork that's you can buy it and flip it and resell it okay at the end of the day in, in my opinion and again there could be a bigger picture but you know when you create this piece of artwork and you sell it to the first person I get 10% of the sale. Okay. And then you create the hype, create the hype. Now this piece of artwork, Board Yate Op Club, is now worth $2 million, And you sell this to him for $2 million, I get 10% still, again, on that sale. So... But that, that's the business size for me. The way I see the NFT is like, okay, for example, they have the, the Board Monkeys, mm -hmm. which is a, a hype, the one right now. Like, pretty much is the person behind it and what it provides with it. Like, he could have exclusive events, exclusive drops. And if you own this little image of this monkey, you're included with the private party. And you're included with the whatever the creator behind it. But you know how much... Willing to... But... Go ahead. I'll be damned if I'm going to buy a $3 million picture so I can go to a party. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But I mean, but also, are these... Empty promises as well because well, I mean, in a way, it is. But it's like the last person that owns it, who who never sells it again, is stuck holding the bag on that. Because say if I sell it for fifty, you sell it for ten thousand, you sell it for a million, you sell it for one point five. Well, if nobody buys it for one point six, the last person holding it is stuck with it. 
So what's the value of that now? So I don't know. I mean, is there going to be a reality in 100 years of, you know, this whole metaverse that is something that we don't even know yet? Who yeah, knows? for sure. Probably. I'm not going to fucking be there to find out. So I don't, even know if I, I don't think I'm going to be there. I mean, okay. the, be there. I mean, the laws are changing as far as the way it goes. Like, I've, who the fuck dropped just an album and he made it just an NFT? Like, you could buy an album. Oh, Tory yeah. Lanez did that. Yeah. Tory Lanez did that. What's his name? Nick Cannon did that. Yep. Um, who's buying Nick Cannon's album, dude? Come on, stop that. But I mean, I looked into the Tory Lanez ones. I bought me uh, 20 copies of it just for the fuck of it because it was the first album that dropped. And you paid a buck for it, right? It was like a dollar. Yeah. I, I got it in resale, so I got it for like three ninety nine. But there's people selling that for like a thousand, six yeah. grand, fucking like whatever. I just bought it. I forgot about it. It's in the bolt. You know, just for the... Just because it's the first thing that dropped. But who decides the value? Because you said you bought it and other people is buying it. So what? I believe it's just it's value? just the market, and it's just like if Tory Lanez does something that just fucking boosts his popularity up. Yeah, he's gonna media beat that everyone. Megan case. Is what's gonna happen, and then boom, he's gonna blow up. And let's just say other people get on the wave and they start dropping NFT albums. Then okay, as a collector's item, you're gonna be like, okay, well, Tory Lanez was the first one. But ever here's an example of not NFTs, but like the whole crypto, the whole that whole world. Like Shiba, three weeks ago, it, it was, bought, it just bottomed out. Though. It fucking bottomed. Yeah, it was tanked. But, but it's gonna, it's about to go up. So, uh, we'll see. Like like, I think like, it's gonna like go Doge. up because um, they're getting contracts with people like where there's I forgot who fucking just started accepting Dogecoin and Shiba, but the lowest coin that you hear right now that's being hyped up is Dogecoin. That's mm -hmm. like the consumer ones right now, and they're getting contracts where people are accepting it now. And now Shiba, I've seen Shiba's been in the talks again, again, where people are taking Shiba, like El Salvador taking Bitcoin. Imagine if they take Dogecoin. But here's the thing, El Salvador's taking Bitcoin, but who in El Salvador has Bitcoin? I mean, the thing about Bitcoin is that you ain't got to own, you you don't have to pay 50 grand for one Bitcoin. You could buy parts of the Bitcoin. I'm saying the people in El Salvador don't have, the people of El Salvador aren't fucking cashing in on Bitcoin is what I'm trying to say. But that's what I'm saying. Imagine, okay, well, okay, I give you 10, what do they roll? The dollars, $10? Right. But okay, if you go on Bitcoin and you buy $10 worth it, you give it to me. Me as a uh, as a person that owns the ten dollars bit worth of Bitcoin, if I let it sit, it has the opportunity of value to go up. So you as an as a person, you rather keep cash that's gonna be considered just cash, a dollar's a dollar, or you wanna give me a dollar in Bitcoin that could be worth two, three, four dollars. It depends on the people and how they're struggling. It's like, yo, can I buy shit with this Bitcoin? No, you can't technically right now, but in time you will. Or do I got the cash? I'm like, yeah, you can buy the shit right now. So, I mean. That's the game you play. Mm. Think about it. You, you name of my next mixtape: the game you play. The game you play. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, the world's changing. Bitcoin's getting accepted everywhere. Yeah, so Everybody says Bitcoin's gold. You have to play gold. the game. You have to play Ethereum the game. Ethereum is the more like uh, functional coin, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. More retail is gonna take it. More shit like that. Um, and then the upcoming one, the Shiva and Dogecoin, that's kind of been in the works because of Elon Musk. But it's bottomed out right now too. Is at seventeen cents or like sixteen cents. For the time being, they all hit their dips. But I think it's it's a world that's changing fast and before our eyes. I think that's the that, that's the trippiest part is just literally before our eyes. Like fuck, yeah. we can't understand it. Like it's moving so fast you can't understand it. Yeah. Right now, and it's like and it's becoming the truth. Like you see the movies now, like really the people we used to call nerds and geeks and weirdos, they're the people that really understand this shit and these yeah. are the people that are really making money like i wish i could wake up tomorrow and be like oh you're fucking dodgecon just blew up to fucking five bucks like okay well now i'm a fucking millionaire like yeah you know and there was people that bought it in the instead of being a cent it was like a quarter three fourths yeah. of a cent yeah people that bought it like that when it goes up to 70 cents like they're the people that woke up and be like nigga i gotta take that take million. that take that diddy with <laughs> <laughs> you feel me but I don't know. The world's changing fast. I don't fully understand it. I'm trying to understand it, but that's not, like, that's not me. I can't Nobody fully can. understand what the fuck is going on, but... Nobody can. I'm trying to take a grasp of it and what I can and try to do what I can with cash to kind of have, like, my, my, my fingers in it, but I'm just barely touching it. I can't grab a handful yet. <laughs> you know? No, you're right, right, right. <laughs> no, you're right. Yeah. Let's play the game. What, what are we looking on time, June? 
said wrap it up. Right. Wrap it up. Yeah. Okay, right. But you know what? All right, well, uh, you know what? 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 what, 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 what. We didn't even do a partnerships. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, we went dived into it. Hey, well, the the flashcard's been up there the entire time. You know what I mean, hey, right there, yeah. yeah so you need. Should we shout them out real quick? Yeah, yep. I might as well. Right, it's worth it. Definitely eating. Definitely dot com. Definitely merchandise. Monterey Bay Creations. You dream it, they create it. You know what I mean? Get your vinyls done, t-shirts, stickers, all that. Uh, Fish House located in Watsonville. Enjoy the seafood if you're ever out there in the area. Uh, who else? Fit and uh, fresh, fit and fresh. fresh. You know what I'm saying? Take that, take that, take that, take New that. New Year's fresh coming. Food. Be sure to get that shit, man. Yeah, that's right. Get right. Twenty twenty two is your year. That's La right. Tortuga, La Tortuga in Seaside. Ooh, Authentic ooh. Walk, 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 <laughs> walk, walk, food. My bad. Cuisine, walk, cuisine. Tongue. Get that champurrado yeah. in the mornings, man. Got a little tongue twist right there. thinking about the food. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The tlayudas. Yeah. Official. And uh, conglomerate by the sea where you guys can get our merch and a lot more. Mark, anything coming up for uh broken? Broken apparel that people just gotta keep keep their eyes open or no, we talked about uh the collab that's coming up after the first of the year right. called Fashion, uh Jimbo Phillips out of Santa Cruz. We've been working with them. We got uh two more days open this week at the shop. By the time this hits we'll be closed, but We'll be shutting down for a little bit, just taking a break over the holidays. Okay. Um, just, yeah, first of the year, hit it again, and uh, see what see what it holds for us. You guys open back up Ju- January 1st? Is that when you guys? We'll be open before then. Okay. Uh, we're going to be closed up through, like, the 27th. Okay. Then we'll be back open. Okay. So. Nice. Sounds good, man. Thank you for coming by again, yeah, man. I appreciate, appreciate it. Always Thank you, sir. Yeah. Always, yeah. Have time. always, always. Till next time, y'all. Y'all stay safe out there. Wear your Hope mask. y'all have happy holidays, man. Uh, be safe, man. Keep Just a be positive fucking mindset. Safe. Pull out your uh, your uh, Mexican blankets because it's cold as a motherfucker at night, bro. Don't be like Ricky. Thanks. If you say you're not gonna get gifts, don't get gifts. This comes out Friday, doesn't it? That'll be Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy oh, fucking Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, Christmas everybody, ho, ho, ho. everybody, man. Yep, Merry Christmas. Merry no Christmas, gifts for y'all. No, no gifts for y'all. y'all. Merry Christmas, no gifts for you. <laughs> it's back to work, cocksucker. <laughs> With that slide hey, through. Bing bong. Bing <laughs> bong, bitch. <laughs> Hey, Kat, can you tell the people where they can get their Slide Through Podcast merch? Absolutely. So y'all going to go over to the Slide Through Podcast IG. Click on that conglomerate by the C.com link. Go on to the left side, that sandwich bar. Click on that. Click on the Slide Through Podcast clothing. And then you're going to scroll down to that image where you see the Slide Through Podcast crew neck. Click on that, and there you go. You see the size is small through 2X. Thank y'all for the support.